Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we will learn numbers before and after up to 1000. So let's begin with our first example. We're going to start off with a nice easy one. Suppose we have this number 843. 843. And the question is saying what number comes after 843? So the number after 843 is, well, you're simply just counting forwards. And at this stage, you should know how to count in hundreds, okay? Or even up to 100, you should be able to do that. Now, the 8 doesn't change. It's still 800. The 43 becomes 44. So the number after 843 is 844. Now we're going to work out the number before 843. The number before. Now again, all you're doing is simply counting backwards. We've got a number 843. The 8 doesn't change. It's still 800. The rest of the number is 43. What comes before 43? It is 42. So therefore, the number before 843 is 842. I'm just going to go back here and give myself another tick. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. This time, we've got the number 200 and 89. 289. And the question is, what number comes after 289? What is num what is the uh, what comes after 289? Well again, since we've got 8 in the tens column here, the 2 does not change and you're simply counting forwards from 89. What comes after 89? After 89 is 90. Now again, you knew that. You can work this out on a number grid. But at this level, you shouldn't have to. So the, so the number after 289 is 290. Now we're going to move on to our next example. Now let's suppose we have the number 470. 470. And the question is, what number comes before 470? Now again, all we're doing is just simply counting backwards. Okay? You'll find this in many, many questions on tests and in class, so it's important you know this, and it is very, very simple. Okay, the 4 in 470 remains the same. It's still 4. That leaves 70. Now, what number comes before 70? Now, you should know this. Counting backwards, we can say, well, let's start at 72. 72, 71, 70, 69, 68. So, the number is 69. So the number before 470 is 469. We're going to look at two more. This time suppose the number is 599. 599. And we want to know what comes after 599. Now again, you should be able to count upwards from this number. But you can also break it down. You can say 99 and 500. So what number comes after 99? After 99 is 100. So this 1 becomes added to the 5. So therefore it becomes 600. 600. The number after 599 is 600. Now be aware that you'll face this quite often and it can get tricky. Let's suppose the number was, 
instead of it being 599, the number was 700. Well, actually, let's go for see, 799. So what number comes after 799? Now do the same as we just as we've just done. Break it down. We got 99 and we got 700. What comes after 99? It's 100. This one is added to the seven, so that it becomes 800. The number after 799 is 800. Okay. Now we're going to work through 900. 900. And this time the question is, what number comes before 900? So what number comes before 900? Now if we're at 0, 0, in fact, let's look at it slightly differently. If you were to count forwards, you can come to the answer 900. You can even write this down. We've got 900 here, 901. You can check this out on a grid. The number before is 899. If you've got two zeros, the number before it becomes 99, and this 9 becomes 8. The number before that is 898. It's exactly the same rule. I'll just change colors to show this. It's exactly the same rule when we have a number, not two digits, but let's say the number is 10. What number comes before 10? Well, the number before 10 is, we know that, it's 9. Now, how did we work out that 9? Well, that 0 becomes 9, and this 1, we take 1 away from here. Well, if there's 1 already, it's 0 here. So the answer is 9. So in this scenario, the number before 900 is 899. If you have a look at this, two zeros. If it's two zeros, it be you have to move back one, so it becomes 99. But that means you've got to take one away from the 100. One away from 9 is 8. And that's how we get to 899. So that is numbers before and after up to 1,000.